Well, I'm Artifax Mars, and the New York Times has gone off deep end. This is unbelievable. Uh, President Bannon? No. Cooks! Cooks! Uh, here we go. Plenty of presidents have had prominent political advisors, and some of these advisors have been suspected of quietly setting policy behind the scenes. Recall Carl Rove, or if you remember, memory stretches back further, Dick Morris. But we've never witnessed politically move as brazenly to consolidate power as Stephen Bannon, nor have we seen one do quite so much damage so quickly to his putative bosses, popular standing, or pretenses of confidence. That's horse tongue. I love Trump. Mr. Bannon, supercharged right part, moves his platform for inciting the alt-right, did the same with Trump campaign as not being an act of the Trump White House itself. Oh, brother. These people are sick in the head. That was perhaps to be expected, though, with the speed with which President Trump has moved to alienate Mexicans by declaring that they pay for a border wall, Jews, by disregarding their unique experience of the Holocaust. That's BS. That is bullshit. And Muslims... The ban has been impressive. Trump never showed much inc inclination to reach beyond the minor minority base of voters that delivered his electoral college victory. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. And Mr. Bannon, whose fingerprints were on each of the initiatives, is helping to make sure he doesn't. Well, they're just flat out lying there. A new executive order politicizing the process for national security decisions suggests that Mr. Bannon is positioning himself not merely as a Somali, but as a de facto president. That is incredible bullshit. These people are out of their minds. And that New order issued on Saturday, Mr. Trump took the unprecedented step of naming Mr. Bannon to National Security Council along with Secretaries of State and Defense and certain other top officials. Remember, just a few weeks ago, they were saying that the Russians were running the country. Now it's Steve Bannon. They're insane. President George W. Bush's last chief of staff, Joshua Bolton, was so concerned about separating politics from national security that he barred Mr. Rove, Mr. Bush's political advisor from NSC meetings. To the annoyance of experienced policy aides, David Axelrod, President Barack Obama's political advisor, sat in on some NSC meetings but he was not a permanent member of the council. <clears throat> More telling still, Trump appointed Mr. Bannon to the NSC Principles Committee, which includes most of the same topical officials and meets far more frequently. At the same time, President Trump downgraded two senior national security officials, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, New role now held by General Joseph Dumford Jr. and Director of National Intelligence, job to Don Coates, former member of Senate Intelligence Committee and former ambassador to Germany, has been nominated to fill. All this may seem like boring bureaucratic chart making, yeah, but who says the National Security Council table, administration debates, issues of war and peace can make a real difference in the decisions. And giving Mr. Bannon an official role in the National 
security policy making. Trump has not simply broken the tradition, but has embraced the risk of politicizing national security or giving the impression of doing so. <laughs> This goes on and on. I don't want to get too deeply involved in this. Uh, uh, one more paragraph. As his first week in office amply demonstrated, Mr. Trump has no grounding in national security decision-making, no sophistication in governance, and little apparent grasp of what makes me lead a great, diverse nation. Uh, good Lord, he's done more in a week than Barack Obama did in eight years. He needs to hear from experienced officials like General Dunford, but Bannon has positioned himself along with Mr. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, as President's most trusted aide, shutting out other voices that which might offer alternative views. He's not reportedly eclipsing his national security advisor, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. It's so like I said, these are the same people who just a few weeks ago were telling us that the Russians were now running the country. Now, it's not the Russians. It's not the Russians that are running the country. No, it's Steve Bannon. These people are insane. It's like I said, liberalism is a mental disorder. And as for New York Times, they are a snake in the grass. The lying sacks of you-know-what. Unbelievable. They're insane. Like it's not. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, there's snakes in the grass. I'm artifacts of Mars. It's too late at night to get too deeply involved in this. I wouldn't say, say I think New York teams. Times is just all out crazy. Thanks for watching.